We'd like you all to actually meet each other. Do you all know each other already? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Give us each other's emails. <laughs> no. I guess it's a useless exercise. That's great. So you could act as a block. You could do something. You could, yeah. and, and action should be really easy to organize with what, 350 people or something like that? That's great. We'll have to think about what that might be. Basically, there's a crime being committed, um, obviously in the Congo, massive crime in the name of our cell phones and bombs. There's also a crime we're violating our own law. There's a law, it's House Bill S2125, and we're not obeying it, so I think we should call the police. <laughs> or the Attorney General or the White House. I'm gonna do the White House, okay? Everybody, make your calls, here we go. Call now for the President of the Human Health Service. I'm calling to report a crime, and I was wondering um, if anything will be done. Um, if you could help me with that. <laughs> yeah. He says, "Go to WhitehouseGov." <laughs> why we just did that whole routine there is that we, we collaborate. The way that we work as the Yes Men now is that we find groups that have particular interests and we work with them. And generally that, that avoids some things, like avoids some pitfalls. Like our activism can be seen as sort of hit and run. You know, if we take a single issue, do a publicity stunt, get a massive amount of press for it, but there's no campaign behind it, then it doesn't really serve a purpose. And so we always try to collaborate with organizations that are actually going to you know, carry the issue forward in a sustained way, build movements. Um, you know, what, we're, we're otherwise um, you know, fairly useless unless you're contributing to, to some kind of ongoing pressure.